Good uh, afternoon, YouTube. This is Johnny. It's been four or five days since I have made a video, and I thought I'd make a video, break, break the silence. Here in West Michigan, it is May the 6th. It's a Saturday. It is 2.37 in the afternoon. Down the lower level. This is an open basement. This is what, and there's windows all around. And I can go through the back door. And I'm out in the backyard, our backyard. And over that way, le right of me is my uh, flower garden. I looked at it this afternoon and I don't know what is flowers or what is weeds but you're not supposed to start planting preparing your garden until after Memorial Day so I have a while. What this video is going to be is that this morning my wife and I we went to Finville which is south of us maybe 20 minutes 15 minutes and there is, we have heard about a used bookstore, it's called Used Books Warehouse, Warehouse, and it's only open on Saturdays from 9 until 1 in the afternoon, and we've been planning to go there just to check it out, because we go to Finville Public Library, they have a book room, and I've mentioned that we've bought used books at um, the Finville public library. Like today when we were in Finville we went to the used book warehouse which is like I said is open from 9 into 1 but we, afterwards we went to the Finville library you, uh, book room and looked at their used books and I bought one used books book Once Upon a River by Deanne Sutherfield. I have her novel The Thir 13th Tale but this is her other novel, and I didn't have this one in my library, so I picked it up. You know, I think it was only 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cents. So in this video, I'm just going to show you, I got stacks of used books over there from Goodwill, uh, Legacy Thrift Store, Salvation Army. Blue Stockings Bookshop. I have Blue Stockings over here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to show them. I'm watching the time on the corner of this screen here, and I've been going for almost three minutes. So I'm just going to show you, first of all, here on Saturday, April, it's not April, May 6, 2023, Saturday, what I, what I found. Now, they have thousands of books. And it's a warehouse full of books, and um, they put books out all the time. Because uh, when I was talking to the fellow, both the it's run by a couple. They're basically they're real estate. They they're, they work being real. They're in the real estate. They're realtors, but they this is kind of like a hobby of theirs, and they used to sell books on online from Amazon, but they kind of got really big so he told us to come back you know end of the month and so Carol and I are going to go back there probably in around June end of June uh, I had to go all around the books are not in any kind of order they're all over the place it's dark in there cold it's like a warehouse <laughs> but I did find some things I'm just going to show you because I'm just rambling here and I look for things that I collect, or unusual things, and, um, you know, I bought a novel that I do not see in this, once I look at, there's something I bought that I don't see, no, I think there are more, there are more books in the car. Now that I look here, I think some are missing. I don't know, maybe they got mixed up with Carol's stuff. Anyway, I'll show. This is, I, I collect Julian Barnes. He's a British writer. 
I collect, this is one I didn't have in my Julian Barnes, Staring at the Sun by Julius Barnes. Uh, I collect him. This was published in 1986, Julie Barnes. I collect Barry Lopez. I didn't have this one. Giving Birth to Thunder, Sleeping with His Daughter. Coyote Builds North America. This is folklore, uh, Native American folklore on uh, Old Man Co Coyote stories from different Native American Folklore by Barry Lopez. I collect them. I didn't have this one. This is a novel I, I never heard of, or the writer Whitney Otto, collection of beauties at the height of the po their popularity. I looked at it, and what intrigued me was that there are Japanese woodcuts in it. Uh, and I I looked it up on Amazon. See, there's woodcuts. And it's a story of young Japanese uh, young people living in San Francisco in the 80s in Chinatown and about their lives and their romances and hanging out in this bar, you know. And it just looked kind of interesting. It was in perfect condition. It only cost me, I think, 50 cents. This is called Nana by Carmen Lafour. This is translated by Edith Grossman. This is a historical fiction that takes place uh, during the Spanish Civil War. And uh, when I see anything translated by Edith Grossman, I would buy it. She's a very famous translator of Spanish literature. Uh, so, this was first published, I think, in 1949. This is a new translation. Uh, 1945, it was copyrighted. And it has a foreword by Mar Marlo Vegas Lassa. I have at least 20 of his novels in my library. He's one of my favorite South American writers. This is by an Israeli writer. This is Travel. He's an Israeli, Amos Oz, and the Land of Israel. This is, uh, he travels throughout West and West Bank in the ninth, early 1980s to talk with workers, soldiers, religious zealots, aging pioneers, new immigrants, desperate Arabs, young fanatics, dreamers, and visionaries. He asked them where Israel had come from, what the present held, and where it was headed. Uh, so I'm interested in his Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and and I collect the writings of Amos, Amos Oz. I had this in my library, but I wasn't sure. This is by Maggie O'Farrell, uh, the husband that first held mine. No, not the husband, the hand that first held mine, and by Maggie O'Farrell. I have this, and so tomorrow, when I volunteer on Monday at the Book Nook, I'll, I'll take it. This is a writer uh, named uh, Brock Clark. I have two of his novels. Uh, he wrote <coughs> The Arsonist's Guide to Writers' Homes in New England and Exley. And I have those over there in my bookshop, but these are his short stories. The Price of the Haircut by Brock Clark. These are his short stories, and uh, I picked those up to go along with his other books, which I enjoyed reading. This also I found out when I was uh, cataloging and library thing. I already have it. With Our Backs to the Wall, Victory and Defeat in 1918. By David Stevenson. This is on the First World War. I collect books on the First World War, and I had this one, so I'll uh, get rid of it somehow. Uh, I also collect. This is Natural History, Monster of God, the Man-Eating Predator in the Jungles of History in the Mind by David Quagman. I have two of his books. Uh, 
he wrote the song of the doubt Doo uh, doo, do do, and I have another book by him. But this is another book I didn't know he had, so I picked it up from my. I have a other. I like reading natural history, na history of ecology, conservationist movement, and so I picked this up. This is a memoir that I looked at. A while back and I came into the book nook and I didn't buy it and I've been looking for it it's called Barbarian Days of Surfing Life a memoir by William Finnegan uh, I, I've been wanting to read this so I found a copy of it this is one of my favorite short story writers is Alice Monroe M Monroe and I didn't have this one, the the Moons of Jupiter short stories. So, uh, I also collect the writings of the British writer William Trevor. Uh, these are short stories, last stories. And so, yeah, I collect him. I have 17, maybe 15 of his novels and short story collections. This looked interesting. Uh, Stanley Fish, he t teaches political theory. This is a non-fiction. There's no such thing as free speech and it's a good thing too. I don't know. I looked through it and it looked in intellectually interesting. I don't know anything about Stanley Fish. I know that I've seen the name over the years, but never read anything by him. Uh, he, he's written many books. He's written many books, uh, including Surprised by Sin, Self-Consuming Artifacts. Is there a text in the, this class doing what comes naturally? I don't know. It just looked interesting. So I picked it up. And then I picked up a novel by Margaret. My wife always corrects me on the pronunciation of her last name. I call it Drebel or the Rabble. I can't pronounce. Maybe I'm, I'm. But anyway, I start collecting her writings. I read one of her novels last year, and I really enjoyed it. And so when I see a novel by her, I pick it up. And this is the Peppered Moth. Dribble, drabble, I can't pronounce it. So I picked this up. So I have 12 minutes. I'll show you books. Uh, Carol and I took two, a big, huge load of used books to the Blue Stockings bookshop this week. Or I'm trying to get rid of stuff and. Uh, I got rid of some books and plan to get rid of some more. Also, one thing I I went through, I dumped into a a dumpster to recycle paper, all my college notes, all my seminary notes, all my adult Sunday school notes, and all my sermon notes, boxes, and I dumped it all. <laughs> so uh, it was kind of kind of a little bit traumatic for me, but. I realized that I'm going to be 71 this coming August and maybe I have a good 20 years of having mental faculties working and I know I'm never going to preach or teach the Bible again so I just just dumped it and so now yesterday I got rid of that uh, 32 volumes of the Dictionary of Art I gave to a homeschool teacher who teaches art history I got rid of that and I'm gonna get rid of some more books. So we were at Blue Stockings getting rid of books and I picked we had some in-store credit and I picked up certain things for fifty cents a piece. I picked up another copy of Alice in Wonderland for fifty cents. Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite books. Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Then I picked up this history book 
crucible of command, Ulysses Grant, Robert E. Lee, the war they fought, and the peace they forged by William C. Davis. William C. Davis is a very famous Civil War historian, and I collect books on Ulysses S. Grant, and I like to find books on Robert E. Lee. Then I picked up a New York Review book for 50 cents. The Long Ships by Franz G. Bindenstein. This is translated out of uh, Norwegian, uh, Swedish by Michael Meyer. It's only 50 cents. And then I picked up, uh, I, f I found this at Legacy Thrift Store when I was, after I dumped up, dumped my, all my college seminary sermon all that stuff. I went and I found this in the Legacy Thrift Store. Neil Stevenson's uh, science fiction fantasy, Fall or Dodge in Hell. I have a whole stack of his novels over there up against the wall. And then I've, I collect Europia and I found this at a thrift store, Frida by Anthony Quinn. I think I got this at Action House. Uh, Frida, this historical fiction. It's an Euro uh, Europia. I think it's a Europia. Yeah, it says Europia. See? Europia. I collect Europias. I got tons of them. This is an Egyptian writer that I collect. I can't pronounce his name, but I have his bio autobiography. I have his Cairo trilogy. This is his t three novels, The Beggar, The Thief, and The Dogs, and Autumn Quail by, uh, I can't pronounce his name, but I collect him. I got this for 50 cents at Blue Stocking. This is Saki short stories. I have, <laughs> I already have other editions of him. See, here's Saki. Uh, his real name was H.H. H. Mon Monroe. These are Chronicles of Clovis. And then I have Saki's Complete, complete Saki. And then I have a biography on him. I picked this at South uh, Grand Haven Cheap Stacks a couple years ago. The Life of Hector Hugh Monroe. Saki by... A.G. Langeth. There's a picture of him. So yeah, this was only 50 cents and I couldn't resist. It's a modern library edition of the short stories of Saki. Uh, introduction by Christopher Morley, li modern library. See, so yeah, yeah, I like reading his story. That's why I keep these here by my, my uh, table. I got that. My wife been going through her books and she gave me this, The Complete Aguilar by Isaac Walton and Charles Cotton. And yesterday, Friday, I was volunteering at the Book Nook and I've been reading The Fortress of Solitude by Jonathan Latham. I've been reading this last couple of weeks and really enjoying it. He's one of my uh, favorite writers, Jonathan Latham. This is A Fortress of Solitude. So that's it. Tomorrow's a Sunday uh, on the 17th of this month. We're going to go over the Grand Rapids. We're going to buy, visit some used bookstores, celebrate our wedding anniversary. And uh, I got books coming in the mail. Like I said, I got a stack of used books over there. I'm not sure. If I've shown those, I don't think I've shown all of them, but that'll be in a future video. So, yeah, like I said, I've been really enjoying reading The Fortress of Solitude by Jonathan Latham. Uh, I didn't show you one book. There's one book I did get at the the used uh, use warehouse. Was I got this John Barth. The Tidewater Tales. Now I have this already in this edition. 
uh, by John Barth. He's a very modernist, one of my favorite modernist writers. But I couldn't resist getting another. Di if I see anything by John Barth with a different cover, I'll buy it. I have, I just enjoy his novels and I keep them around me. John Barth. So now I have two. I have another novel, but I don't know where it is. It must be with Carol's stuff upstairs. She bought some Christian books. She bought books for a friend. She doesn't really buy that much for herself. Uh, she's very particular what she uh, what she reads and what she gets in her. She's getting rid of books and she doesn't want to get any more. So I got 20 minutes on here. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for comments on my last video where I showed you my diaries. And uh, I've showed you my, I, get, I did get field notes in the mail this week. I'll show those in a future video. Another order of field notes. So yeah, so not much else to report. So I'll sign off. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for subscribing. Do pray that you go into the new week. You have a good reading week. Hope you're having a good month. It's spring here in Holland. It's tulip time. Where thousands of thousands of people flood Holland for tulip time. And people who live in Holland, we just don't go anywhere due to the bad traffic. Everything is crowded with people. With that, I'll sign off. Once again, hope you're all doing well. And until next time, bye.